Hello everyone, welcome to Adutap. To help you in your preparation of IFSCA grade A exam, we have come up with this MCQ series. In this session, we will be discussing the MCQs on IFSCA Act. This is the part 2 of our discussion. In previous session, we have discussed 5 MCQs and we will be discussing 5 more MCQs in this session. So, stay tuned and to help you further in your preparation, we have come up with this ultimate test series which will be having the tests related to all of the each and every component of phase 1 and phase 2 of this exam. You will be having the test series of each and every part of Phase 1 paper 1, phase 1 paper 2, phase 2 paper 1 and phase 2 paper 2. You will also be getting in this test series the full length test of phase 1 and phase 2. So this is the comprehensive, uh, this will help you in your comprehensive preparation as far as this exam is concerned. More than 12,000 plus quality and questions which can appear in the exam, such type of questions will be found in this test series. So, if you want to subscribe to this, you can check out the link in the description. And in these sessions, we are going to pick up the topics which are slightly non-conventional and you may not find a lot of MCQs on these topics elsewhere, right? We will be beginning with the IFSCA Act. We will also discuss the GIFT City, GIFT IFSC, IFSCA and Global Financial Centers, right? So that is our aim. I hope these sessions will help you and try to answer the first and foremost question here. The question says, the appropriate regulator as per the International Financial Services Centers Authority Act, that is the IFSCA Act 2019, means any financial sector regulator specified in the dash to this act okay so we will have to pick which schedule of this act actually brings out the appropriate regulator the list of appropriate regulator along with the laws that are related to that particular regulator the options here are first schedule second third fourth and fifth so let me tell you there are only two schedules as far as this IFSC Act is concerned, the first schedule is the one that provides for the list of appropriate regulators. So, in the previous session, we have discussed that there are four re uh, regulators whose, uh, which are actually part of this schedule and these are the regulators the functions of which will be taken up by the IFSCA as far as the IFSCs are concerned, okay? Only in these IFSCs, only in these zones, the functions of these four regulators are going to be taken up by the IFSCA as per this specific act and we have discussed in the previous session also. Try to recall what is the section? It is section 13 of this act that provides this specific power to IFSCA, right? So, the answer here, the correct answer here is per schedule. It consists of four regulators. Try to recall which are those four regulators. And yes, option A is the correct answer here. And you will find this uh, definition of appropriate regulator in section 2 of the Act. And let me again remind you, section 13 is the one that actually uh, links uh, or it provides the power to IFSCA that it can carry out the functions of these four regulators which are RBI, we have SEBI, we also uh, have IRDAI and PFRDA which are part of the first schedule of this act and the functions carried out by these specific regulators as far as the regulation of the financial institutions and various other activities are concerned with uh, in India, those will be taken up by IFSCA only for these IFSCs, okay? So, that is the thing and I hope this is really clear. Here we have the second question, foreign currency as used in the IFSCA Act has the meaning assigned to it in which section of FEMA, that is the Foreign Exchange Management Act of 1999, okay? Again, you have to pick the definition. You, uh, We know that most of the acts have their definitions in section 2, okay, mostly it is not uh, compulsory but most of the acts have their uh, specific definitions of the terms that are used throughout the act in section 2, 
that is the same uh, thing as far as FEMA Act is concerned. So, here the correct answer will be Section 2. Also, the IFSCA Act consists of the definition of various terms that are used as far as this Act is concerned in Section 2 itself. So, foreign currency is also defined in Section 2 of IFSCA Act and the foreign currency here takes up the definition that is given in Section 2 of FEMA Act. Okay, so FEMA Act has a list of definitions in Section 2. One of them is foreign currency and whatever has been defined as foreign currency in that act is something that is taken uh, to be foreign currency as far as IFSCA Act is concerned and that is what is given in Section 2 of IFSCA Act also. I hope this is really clear and that, uh, that is the thing because of which option B is correct here, right? Now moving on to third question, which among the following statement is or are correct with respect to the International Financial Services Center that is the IFSCs as far as the IFSCA Act is concerned. Okay, so here uh, we have the statements and we have to pick the correct statement, right? First statement here says the authority is established by the high level committee including members nominated by the authorized regulators. Okay, so the terms here, uh, we will uh, uh, come across these terms various times and you have to be really clear with respect to these terms and also whenever you see the term, you should be able to recall the provisions that are a part of this IFSCA Act. So, authorized regulator, as far as we know, the definition for this is given in Section 2 and we know that these regulators are actually part of Schedule 1 of the Act. And here you have first statement that is authority is established by the high level uh, committee. Okay. Second statement here is the head office of the authority shall be at a place decided by the chairperson of the authority. Okay. So where will the head office be? That is the definition of chairperson is something that is given. The head office of the authority shall be at a place decided by the chairperson and members of the authority okay so the place where head office will be that will be decided by chairperson and members here we have d option the head office of the authority is presently in gujarat okay so is it in gujarat head office of the authority shall be at a place notified by the state government of the host state okay so again recall what we have discussed in the previous session that the state government does not have much power as far as this act is concerned wherever you find central government yes that can be the answer but state government is given here so that is not correct we definitely know that we have the authorities head office in the gift city in uh, Gujarat Gandhinagar and so these definitely correct again you can think of eliminating this head office of authority will be at a place with chairperson and members decide chairperson decide so this is not correct this is also not correct and again we discussed the there is no such high level committee right so we can eliminate and also we know that d is the right answer as far as this question is concerned and section 4 of this act is really important because it provides for the establishment and incorporation of this authority and the provisions related to that what are the provisions it uh, gives out that the central government is uh, the authority that is going to decide that is going to establish this uh, IFSCA, the authority will be established by the central government and what are the powers of the authority that is given in clause 2 wherein it is given that the power to enter, execute contracts, acquire, hold property which may be movable and immovable, all of these are the powers of the authority. Also, uh, elaborate powers are given in the further sections of the uh, act which we will be discussing in the sessions coming ahead. The head office of the authority shall be at such place that the central government is going to notify. So, most of the powers are with the central government. This is uh, actually not the part. This line is actually not part of this uh, specific section. But then yes, the head office is presently in Gift City, Gujarat. Okay, so that is why D is the right answer. The fourth clause says here that the authority may with the prior or approval of the central government authority can establish its offices its offices in india as well as outside india okay so that is something that you need to remember and that is something that is uh, going to help you to answer this fourth question the question says the ifsca uh, under the ifsca act is empowered to establish its offices at which among the following places 
where can it establish the offices just now if you have properly gone through the section 4 and the fourth class you will be able to understand that uh, is it Gujarat, Rajasthan, New York? Where can uh, IFSC establish its offices? The options here are 1 only, 2 only, 1 and 2, 2 and 3 or it is 1, 2 and 3. So we know that the offices can be established in India as well as outside India as far as section 4 of the act is concerned. Okay. And so Gujarat, Rajasthan obviously in India. New York is also correct and so the correct answer here is E and the uh, provision that is related to this is clause 4 of the section 4 of this act which we have gone through already. Moving on to the fifth question, the chairperson of IFSCA is to be appointed by Okay, so section 5 actually consists of the provisions with respect to the composition of the authority and chairperson obviously is one of the most important uh, person that is uh, part of this authority. And who is going to appoint the chairperson is the question here. Is it the state government, central government, selection committee appointed by the central government is someone that is going to appoint this uh, uh, person or high level committee consisting of these members of RBI, CBI, RDII and PFRD or is it president of India. So again we have two options here which we can eliminate. Uh, here state government and high level committee something that you can eliminate but the confusion here is between central government selection committee president of India so the correct answer actually here as per the act section 5 of the act is central government and selection committee actually has a role in appointing the members of the IFSCA it is not with respect to the chairperson but members a few members two members can be appointed by the selection committee and the selection committee will be formed by the central government and these are the provisions that are part of section 5 and we will be going through that it is not president of India and so B is the right answer here here we have section 5 and it talks about the composition of the authority and you can see it is given that the appointment of these members is to be done by the central government and the first and foremost person here is the chairperson we will go through the further uh, uh, clauses of this specific act through various MCQs. You can go through the uh, section 5 in the PDF that will be provided and uh, you can uh, nicely uh, thoroughly remember things. Okay. And I uh, thank you a lot here. And if you have any other queries, you can definitely call us on 81462072411 or you can always drop a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in and your mail will be answered within a day. Right? I hope this session has helped you. Do let me know in the comments and all the best for your preparation. Thank you.